Hey, welcome back, gang gang. Um, this video that I'm gonna do is um, it's gonna be a love message for a divine feminine or a divine masculine. We got spark and security. Um, the energy off of this is um. Someone feels real secure with another person due to a spark. Maybe it could have been a conversation, um, something that you said, something that you wore. But it's just something that sparked some type of security within this person. Whether if it's a divine feminine or a divine masculine, you know what fits your situation. I feel like this person has never had this type of security or this type of spark. Because this is a feather. And it's going over love. Yeah, so that's probably why this person was cautious. Um, this person never had this, like I said. So they didn't know how to take it. So where they come from or their environment is toxic. It's basically what you can say. They never had someone to feel passionate or to feel this way about them. Look at this. Differences. I feel like this could be different as um, religious. One party can be a Muslim, the other one could be a Christian. And that makes them feel as though this couldn't be a good relationship because of the differences. But this person, one party who was cautious to this relationship is no longer being cautious. They're going to reach out because they wouldn't even let me listen to my reading. Because they said, hey, please do this video. A masculine or feminine, a divine feminine or divine masculine wants to communicate. They're possibly going to tell you about why they were cautious to this relationship. But they're also going to let you know about the spark that they felt and how you give them a sense of security. Any more messages with this deck, spirit? Yeah, romance. This person wants to wine and dying you this person um could possibly you possibly could have wine and dying this person but they feel real romantic or want to do romantic things because this is a this is a soul connection this person can feel it can sense it the energy they know it's real that's why this person got scared because a soul connection like this person could be an empress right they never ever met a god and this person could be a god and they never met an empress like you only meet a god or an empress once in your lifetime they don't come you're not you can't walk outside and just pick up a god or a goddess like i said because these are gifted people this person wants to wine and dine you when they come in they coming in like they're not playing no games this person just had to figure out who they were who got self-worth and they know who they they know who they are. That's why they want to express these romantic feelings that they they kept from you. They said shuffle that again. This person. This person is like, I'm not gonna let nothing stop me this time. So whatever the differences was, what it could it may have could have been religion, it could have just been family values, tradition. Look, that's what kept y'all in separation. That's why that person didn't want to come towards you. Knowing that you was like, because it got honeymoon. Knowing that it's like every day is like Christmas chilling with you. Whoever this person is. Look, unrequited love. That's why. This person knew that you were the one. Right, because of the soul connection, because of the spark, because of the security that you placed upon this person, but because of whatever difference or whatever separation, I mean, or whatever kept this person cautious, it could have been family, work, differences, whatever. That's why you had this unrequited love, and this person is, this person is, is ready to come in. Like you deserve love. Look, let go of concert, control issues and wedding. <coughs> Excuse me. An engagement. Like I said, this person is ready to come in because this person see long term with you. 
It says forgiving and lear learning. This person wants you to forgive them because they had to learn. Look. You can trust this person and this person can trust you. This person couldn't trust nobody. That's why they had to love themselves with that self-worth. Because you are their soulmate. And on the bottom, we have wedding. So like I said, this person is no longer letting these differences or whatever kept them stuck from moving towards you. Mm -mm. They're no longer doing it. It says relationship patterns, patterns. They are releasing whatever they thought was good. That's what they're doing. I feel like this person's family... I don't know. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone that had a kid. And they family told them, hey, you can't leave this person. You gotta stick it out. And this person's been suffering. Some of you guys could be dealing with a person who had to leave just a, a karmic. And their family was so in love with the karmic that they couldn't see past the karmic bullshit. Maybe the karmic was even doing voodoo on the family. That's why they couldn't see it. But spirit has intervened with this relationship because this is a divine connection. Y'all was supposed to have been together probably like four months ago, two months ago. But due to whatever, whoever, this relationship was postponed or it was stuck. So that's why Spirit is like, uh-uh, we got to get this relationship on the go because it's a vibration that you guys are supposed to be sending out. They wouldn't even drop no cards. It says you are limitless. You could do anything you choose. I feel like the person that you were dealing with didn't feel too good about themselves due to whatever karmic or whoever. Somebody made them feel like they wasn't good enough. It could have been a past relationship. It says consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. This person seen some of you guys with this energy. This person wanted to build a foundation before they came towards you. It didn't even have nothing to do with differences or nothing. This person just wanted to be stable. A lot of men do not feel like they're, what well, they feel like they're less of a man if they're not able to provide or not stable themselves. So a lot of you guys, um, this person had to get their foundation right, whether it's male or female. And then it says, turn on your heart light. This is the other people. It says, reflect on the time when you experience love. That's why this person is coming towards you. Because when they reflect, they think about you. They don't think about nobody else. It says love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So this person is not giving up on this love or giving up on you. And then we have physical touch. This person is ready to touch you. It says you are limitless on the bottom again. So yeah, this person is ready to physically touch you. This person is longing for your touch. <laughs> That's what it says. I long for your touch. Um, could be, This is lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Dang, spirit is ready to use these cards. <laughs> Come on, spirit. Give me a few messages. Now that I'm asking, they want to give me that. The first card out is I want to get you pregnant. Y'all might want to slow down with this person. This person said they want to shoot the club up. Bang, bang. So if you not... If you don't want no more kids, strap it up. And for those of you who be like, oh, well, I can't handle more kids. Did God, I mean, mm, did the most I tell you that? Did the most I tell you that? Because guess what? Only time, because only time will tell. And we got the universe is working behind the scenes, so keep pushing. Didn't I just say the universe is stepping in this? Because somebody playing, I feel like a karmic won't let go of somebody or family members overstepping their boundaries. By keeping one person stuck, or it could be keeping both of y'all stuck. The universe not playing no more. So whoever these people are that's trying to stop this relationship or stop y'all from coming in union, I keep seeing a death card. So maybe spirit is going to take them out. We got a lover boy, lover girl. So yeah, this person is in love. It says, let me hold you down, loyalty. So somebody wants... So we got... Divine connection with a soul connection. This is meant to be. This is why spirit not playing. I don't know who these people is that's trying to stop y'all from coming in union. Spirit, give me some cards so I'm going to just start picking them. See, whoever these people are, they really don't want y'all to be together. Because they know that they're going to have to hit the road, Jack. And then they also know... 
it says friends or family or ex lover tried to stop this union. Like I said, that's why. Haters. They, somebody don't want y'all to go on this vacation. Somebody got a trip planned. Like a vacation. They want to get away with you. And then we got forever love. You're all I need to get by. Somebody ready to just, Somebody. Somebody's coming in with some. Uh, they're going to get you pregnant. It says you got me going in circles. So somebody could possibly. Somebody could have possibly rejected someone. Right. And a person who rejected someone is coming to spin a block back. And they don't know if you're going to take them back because they rejected you. So some somebody's going in circles. But it's. They're following their heart because that's what led them to you. And only time will tell if you would take them back. Because this person left all their baggage in the past where it belongs. Signed a healed person. This person had to heal. That's why spirit, that's what took this person so long. Spirit, spirit's like, let them heal. We got, I was scared of rejection. I really love you. Somebody with big dick energy really love you. They could have possibly been dealing with a Scorpio. Had to leave a Scorpio. But they're ending whatever it is. Could have been just them being scared. It says, I am an asset, not a li not a liability. Invest in the right things. It says, you're like the finish line. I can't wait to run into you. Like I said, that physical touch, somebody's ready to love on someone. Big time. This big dick energy. This big dick energy can't wait to run into you. Because this person left their baggage in the past. And it's like they were healing from this relationship, this ex-relationship. And the friends and family was telling them to stick with the old person. And the old person is the liability. This person is not an asset. Because they wasn't investing in the right thing. So that's why they're coming towards you. That's why they can't wait to run into you. Because you're an asset. They're ready to invest their time and their energy. Big dick energy. Look. Into the right things. And this is very soon. This big dick energy. It says I just ask when you see me. You speak up nigga. That's all. It says the divine masculine will confess his love for divine feminine. So he's about to speak up. Overnight success, viral business. Like when he do speak up, y'all about to take off. Business wise, wedding wise, all of that. Last message is spirit. Last message out is I love the way you taste. So somebody's nasty. Because this is a real love. Because they want to be friends first. And it says... You, I can read your mind, baby. I know what you're thinking. So this is a telepathic connection. I feel like a lot of you guys have been traveling to each other in a 5D or reaching out to each other in a 5D. And then it's like the connection that you got is a telepathic connection. So you guys can just be looking at each other and not even say nothing. And um, this person wants to know if you can support them mentally. Because they don't want to be single no more. The single life is boring and it sucks. And it's, um, they can do this for hours, meaning talk to you. I feel like the conversation is different. Yeah, it says you're calling out to me. And on the bottom, it says I can spend all day with you. Yeah, I felt that type of energy. Let me see what the tarot got to say, y'all, because we ain't pulled no tarot. We got the sun card. Yeah, this person is coming in. They said keep these two. This person is coming in. Look, judgment and the people who tried to distract this person from coming in towards you. Because this is a bird. This person is pouring into something that's building a foundation or their stability. <coughs> Excuse me. And this bird is distracting this person. So like I said, not a cups. Somebody is trying to stop this person from getting a happy ending or stop both of you guys from getting your happy ending. So these people or this person who was trying to stop this the divine has stepped in. That's why they're getting judgment. They also could have possibly planted a fake baby. So what little dude, yep, with a cancer, this is the king of cups. With another cup, yeah. So somebody could have a cancer or maybe a, this is happening to a cancer. Shit, you could even, these are all water signs. You could possibly even be a Capricorn. It's a page of pentacles. Taurus or Virgo, but it's really screaming out Capricorn. Because they go another pinnacle right here. So you could, the two C's, you could be a Capricorn or a Cancer. And a woman could have possibly 
faked the pregnancy, made you get her pregnant, or the baby not yours. Like, this goes with this judgment. If she's pregnant now, the baby won't make it. It um it's either not your baby or the baby won't make it. If the baby do make it, then she won't make it. I'm telling you, judgment. Because I keep seeing the Scorpio cards like death. Look, Ace of Pentacles, because they were trying to stop and block this union. You can't. This is something ordained by the Most High. The Most High is making this night what made this person go from a knight to a king of cups to reach out to you. They're no longer holding back. Look at this. They're running off from whoever was trying to stop this. They might have to, y'all might have to sneak. I don't get that energy because we got emperor and hyphen. Yeah, the divine is not playing at all. This person done already chose what they're going to do. Like I said, they're coming in and wine and dine you. When the messages start keep repeating itself, this is a divine connection. This is a sure thing. Five of Pentacles. That person is going to be out in the cold. Her and that kid or him and that kid. Somebody I told you somebody's trying to look. Somebody's trying to trap somebody or do something with a kid. It's not going to work. Spirit is, if you've been having a masculine, like if your son ate and he not your son, and you've been taking care of this little boy for eight years, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, Spirit's about to show you. It don't matter. Spirit's not playing. These women or these men is not going to get away with if it's dealing with a kid. Hi, Priestess. I'm telling you, the divine is about to tell. Ace of Wands. Yeah. The divine's about to reveal some shit. A lot of y'all about to be mad because some of them kids is not y'all's. A lot of y'all about to be... Oh my God, never mind. This A few masculines is happy. A lot of masculines is praying to the most high that this kid is not theirs. Because if this kid is theirs, they can't move to this damn high priestess and have this four. Ooh, might be a Leo. Look, four wands. And that's another one. This person wants to have sexual intercourse with this damn high priestess or this queen of wands and get her pregnant. But they know if whoever is pregnant, they can't move towards this high priestess or this high fan. Like if a female is pregnant, then she knows she can't move towards a high fan. So she could possibly get an abortion or something. That's for the females. But for the males, I feel like he really don't want this bitch to be pregnant at all. So if she get an abortion or something happen to her, he's going to be happy. Like, I'm telling you, somebody can get in a car wreck, somebody's house can get caught on fire. It's just, it's, this is for the karmic. Whether it's a karmic male or a karmic female. If your ass is trying to keep, if you are in a relationship and the person don't want to be with you no more, this is exactly your ass, whether you pregnant or not. You, if you are forcing somebody to stay with you, you are the person that I'm talking about, whether you're pregnant or not. The divine just sat there and said, you don't have that type of authority or that type of control to make someone suffer with you. So the divine is stepping in on all type of relationships or anything, whether you're pregnant or not. Like I said, on all type of relationships. And this is the only ending that you're going to get. So if you are out here doing voodoo, doing manipulation, like, well, if you leave me, I'm going to put you on child support. I'm going to kill myself or kill the kids. Whatever the fuck these people are using... They can no longer use that. And the divine is sending a reaper to them. Because they done got ample amount of time to stop doing whatever they're doing. Whether this is bitter ass baby mama, bitter ass baby daddy, nosy ass mother, father, nosy ass sister and brother. Whoever the fuck it is. Whoever these people is, uh, I want you to myself, best friends or friends. Because you never know. Some of your friends be wanting to fuck you or fuck the person who you want. But whoever this person is... These people are that was trying to stop this love. Like I said, they ass is grass. Some people could have possibly been telling you lies. Like, oh, he a hoe, she a hoe. Lying. Some of them could have had relatives or friends that knew that they liked you and tried you. Just to keep this union. It's just a lot of fuck shit that's going on with this shit. All these people that tried to stop this union. No matter if your part was big or small. If you're pregnant or not, it don't matter. If you had any hand in keeping this union or keeping these two people apart, you will see the reaper. This is somebody who's fucked up. I don't need the death card to come out. That's good enough. Because you tried to keep somebody, they they try to keep y'all two apart from getting this family. Because they know you're going to raise the vibration. So that's why they cause chaos and confusion between this relationship. Like I said, it's not going down. 
Because a kid has to be born between the two of you guys. And the divine needs eight, eight behind each other. Yeah, the divine is making this man or this person king of... It's a king of pentacles, but it could be a female. They're making this person move now. That's what they're telling me. This person's coming to you now because you're their strength. And the divine is giving them strength to move towards you. This is a reading for divine feminists and divine masculines all over. If you were born a man, divine masculine. If you was born a female, divine feminine. You cannot have a divine masculine and a divine masculine together. My readings do not work like that. My readings are only of the divine. And they spit the divine truth. So a divine union is between a man and a woman. And I'm not going to argue with nobody because there's no need to argue with what the fuck I know. It's not no goddamn opinion. It's a motherfucking fact. So if you feel as though that you like the same sex... This reading definitely ain't for you. It's not going to fit no goddamn description. Ain't no sun, moon, rock. Ain't none of that shit. I tell you who my readings is for. And can't nobody tell me, oh, well, it fit me. It don't matter if it do sound like it. If I tell you that it's not for you, it's not. I'm the reader. So if you would like to book a personal reading, please email me at sphinxtarot at yahoo.com. If you need instant booking, then you can email me at sphinxtarot on Facebook. And I'm going to say this. I'm not against nobody. I don't care if you gay, homosexual, black, white, Asian, Hispanic. I go for your heart, your character. Do you have integrity or not? What you stand for? So with that being said, you can take whatever the fuck I say and you can twist it all the fuck you want to. Hey, you can do whatever the hell you want. At the end of the day, I'm divinely protected. So once it roll off your tongue, hey, you are food for the divine, meaning the most high is going to handle you accordingly. Because I'm a real live earth angel. To my people that's been rocking with me since sliced bread, even if you ain't been rocking with me since sliced bread. I'm sending y'all nothing but peace and abundance. May the most high continue to live within you and around you. Anything that is not for you, may the most high remove it. And place and put place in that space nothing but joy, happiness. Namaste, gang gang. My HVBs, my high vibrating beings. I love y'all. From the bottom of my heart, the depths of my soul, mind, body, soul, and spirit. Good night. Until next time, my divine beings. <laughs>